question to him, why in the world would HBO, I mean, they've got cameras in his church, they're following him around, they're asking him a million questions, why would they want to do that? Oh my goodness. <laughs> we were closed for about two years, and uh, the true numbers of the funerals during the COVID was about 160, maybe 180. So it was a very dark, dark hour, and you know, most of the normal amenities of life don't exist in Chinle. So after you invest 30 years of your life somewhere, you kind of wonder what's going to happen. And you just live for God by faith, and you know, you're kind of just trying to put your life together and put the church back together. One day, a camera crew came to the church, and I was definitely in pastor mode, and they said, hey, uh, we're doing a documentary on the Navajo police, and there's a particular boy in your church that we went to see all the cadets, and he stuck out like a sore thumb, no tattoos, clean cut, extremely polite. So we asked him what your story is. He says, well, I'm a native, but I grew up in church. HBO was floored. You grew up in a church in Chinle. They called it the, the beautiful side of evil. So they said, can we go to this church? And it went from interviewing the cadets. And at first I just said, you know what? Uh, I'm not going to change anything for you. You can film our church service. You can film the family. The family's here with us today. And uh, you do whatever it is you do, but uh, we're going to speak and talk. We're not changing a thing. And they said, can we interview you? And I said, you know, I'm, I'm kind of off limits. I'm not a police officer. So they came to the first service, and they filmed our service, and, and they were intrigued. They could not believe what they saw. Hundreds of Navajos clean and in order and lifting their hands to God. And so it went on. And, and finally, they called me back. And they said, we really want to talk to you. Give us 20 minutes of your time. So they met me at the church at 6 in the morning, watched me pull in the parking lot, filmed me as I opened the door. And you know what? Get away from me, man. What the heck? Watched me make coffee. And, and the 20-minute interview lasted four hours they saw all the men that we had launched out on the wall and the international ministries, and they understood the damage that COVID did to the Navajo people. And today we're just watching this amazing outpouring of God in Chinle, Arizona. More than I deserved. <laughs> HBO and Artie Aragon, what a deal. <laughs> So what's your excuse, Pastor? <laughs>